Oh yes, we're back with another one. We've got integration question number 10. So here it is. We've got to find the following integral over there. So that's ln x all squared. So have a quick go at that and we'll catch up in a couple of seconds to go through the solution. Right, oh, it is solution time. So let's get cracking. Now for this question, we would have to use by parts. Um, and so I've put the by parts formula down there for us um to use so we're integrating ln x squared there we go and so laying it out very very important when you're doing by part so we'll have u and then dv dx so u i'm going to set as ln x all squared and dv dx i'll set as just one so if we do some differentiation on this side du dx is going to come out as we'll use the chain rule for this that's going to be two ln x multiplied by the derivative of ln x, which is just one over x. Then on this side, let's integrate. That's going to integrate to just x. Close that off. And now we can apply our by parts formula. So that's uv, and that's going to be x, and then ln x squared. Subtract the integral of uh, v du dx. That's 2 ln x multiplied by 1 over x multiplied by x. Now, what can you see there? You'll have some cancelling going on. There we go. We can get rid of those. So actually, all we've got is x ln x squared subtract the integral of 2 ln x now the other thing i'm going to do is bring that to outside of our integral let's just pop it over there now what have we got to do we've got to integrate ln x now we've done that before to integrate ln x we're going to have to use by parts again okay so i'm going to go to the side of my page just over here and let's set that up again now remember when you're integrating ln x you have to do by parts and you've got to pick u as ln x, okay? So u is ln x and dv dx is gonna be one. So let's just complete this. du dx is gonna be one over x and v would equal x, so it is. And so what have we got now? So we've got x ln x squared minus two lots of, and let's open up a little bracket here, apply our by parts for the second time. That's gonna be x ln x subtract integral of 1 over x multiplied by x. Now what can you see in here? Again, we can cancel those and that's going to leave us with just 1. So let's just rub that out and put there. It's just an integral of 1. Awesome. So that's x ln x there all squared subtract 2 lots of x ln x minus integrate the 1. That's going to give you just x and then plus u at the end. What can we do? Let's neaten this up a little bit more. So x ln x squared subtract 2x ln x plus 2x and plus c. And then we can factorize this. Let's take x out of all of that. So x and then we have ln x squared subtract 2 ln x and then plus 2. Close that off. Plus e on the other side. And there it is. So, good little question there on uh, integration. Um, by parts, again, the key take home points are gonna be whenever you've got LNs, make sure you're setting that as U. So remember late, okay? We talked about that a couple of times. Do remember that. Um, and until the next time, keep practicing some integration. I'll catch you again in the next video. Should be out very soon.